Hello, welcome to a lecture series in limit state design of steel structures. In today's lecture, we will work out a design example on high strength friction grip bolts. So as you can see in the slide, we have an Indian standard angle section that is ISA 150 by 115 by 12 mm which carries a factor tensile load of 300 kN. It is to be jointed with a 12 mm thick gust plate. Assuming that the contact surfaces are prepared by sand blasting and uh, removing uh, the loose rust, we have to design a high strength boot joint when uh, case first when no slip is permitted and case second is when slip is permitted. We have to use steel of grade E250. So let us begin. Let's provide twenty millimeter diameter high strength friction grip bolts and let the uh, grade of the bolts be eight point eight. So for eight point eight grade bolts we have the ultimate tensile strength that is FUB that is 800 Newton per millimeter square and A and B that is net tensile stress area of the bolt or the cross sectional area of the bolt at the level of the threads that is given by 0 0.78 times the cross section area at the level of uh, the shank that is, seven, is 0 0.78 pi by 4 d square so you will get 0 0.78 pi by 4 20 square because we assumed that the diameter of the high strength friction grip bolts is 20 mm so you will get 245 mm square is the net stress area that is A and B. Now for E250 grade of steel we have uh, the ultimate tensile strength that is Fu equal to 410 Newton per millimeter square. This is as per table 2 of IS 2062-2011. Now, when slip is not permitted, the joint will be a slip critical connection. That is, case A is we have slip critical connection or you may say it is slip resistant connection so for a slip critical connection or slip resistant connection we have the design slip resistance of high strength friction grip bolts that is given by V D S F and that is mu F and E multiplied by KH multiplied by F zero over gamma M F where F zero is proof load. and that is equal to proof stress into cross sectional area 
of the gold at the level of the threads that is it is a and b multiplied by small f0 that is proof stress where f0 is proof stress and that is equal to to generate taken as 70% of the ultimate and set strength of the bolt that is 0.7 FUB so we have F0 that is proof load equal to A and B that is 245 multiplied by proof stress that is 0.7 times FUB and we have FUB equal to uh, 800 so you will get 137200 zero, zero newton so we have proof load f0 equal to 137.2 kN Now for given surface preparation that is when the contact surfaces are prepared by sand blasting and uh, removal of loose uh, crust for that uh, type of surface we have the slip factor or the coefficient of friction or you may say coefficient of friction that is mu f that is 0 0.5 for this type of surface that is for the surface in which we have to the surface by sand blasting we have mu f equal to 0 0.7 it is from table 20 is 800 2007 so we have mu f as slip factor or coefficient of friction between the surfaces in contact further we have n e that is equal to number of effective surfaces offering frictional resistance to slip that is we have n e equal to 1 because there is only one friction surface in the case of lab joint because uh, the angle section is connected to a cassette plate so this connection will be actually a lab joint and there will be only one plane at which there will be friction resistance developed so we have n e equal to 1 and we have gamma mf equal to 1.25 uh, this actually uh, at ultimate rules it's actually a partial safety factor for friction type bolts and it is given in table 5 of IS 800 2007 now assuming standard clearance bolt holes is for the case of standard holes we have kh equal to 1 therefore we have the design slip resistance of the bolt 
equal to 0 0.5 that is mu f multiplied by ne that is we have n is 1 multiplied by kh we have the value of kh is 1 because we have only uh, standard clearance holes so for standard clearance holes we have well, the value of kh is 1 and uh, multiplied by f0 that is the proof load and the proof load is 137.2 kN or gamma mf that is 1.25 for ultimate uh, load that is actually partial safety factor for friction type bolts it is given in table 5 of IS 2000 IS so you will get design slip resistance as 54.88 kN so this is the design slip resistance of the bolt so number of bolts required for the connection that's we have to make the connection between the cassette plate and the uh, angle section so for that case we will need uh, the number of bolts as 300 that is load on the joint or the connection uh, divided by the slip resistance of a bolt so you will get uh, 300 by 54.88 that will be approximately 4. Point, rather 5.47 that will be equal to 6 number of volts so provide 6 number 20 millimeter diameter volts rather diameter uh, 20 millimeter diameter 8.8 .8 grade high strength friction grip bolts for the given connection so uh, for high strength uh, friction grip bolts you will need only six number of bolts to connect the gas plate to the Indian standard angle section of 150 by 115 by 12 mm to transmit the load of 300 kN safely. Now we have the second case that is when slip is permitted. So when slip is permitted, uh, the connection reduces to a bearing type connection so in this case when the slip between the cassette plate and the angle section is permitted the bolt will actually bear against the bolt hole or the size of the bolt hole so it will now reduce to a bearing type connection whereas in the case first we had the connection is high strength friction grip bolt connection now since uh, the angle section is connected to gas plate through a lead joint the bolt will be in single shear therefore we have the design shear strength of the bolt that is VGSB that will be equal to 
एफ यू बी और अंडर रूट थ्री गामा एम बी वी हैव एन एन ए एन बी प्लस एन एस ए एस बी लेट्स एज्यूम द शेयर प्लेन इंटरसेप्ट और लाइज द शेयर प्लेन लाइज विद इन द थ्रेड्स then we assume that the shear plane lies within the thread is in that case we will have n and its number of shear planes intersecting the thread is that will be 1 and number of shear planes that are not intercepted they do not intercept the thread is that will be actually zero because we have only one shear plane and that shear plane is intercepted by the thread is so we have further gamma mb that's equal to 1.25 it is the a partial safety factor for material of the bolt and that is taken from table 5 of is 800 2007 therefore we have vdsb that is design shear strength of the bolt that will be equal to fub that's 800 by under root 3 multiplied by 1.25 we have n n is 1 and we have a n b is 245 plus n s is 0 so you will get v d s b equal to 90528.52 newton that will be approximately 9.53 kilo newton so the design shear strength for the bolt is 90.5 Five three kilo newton. Now design bearing strength because we are uh, designing the case second. That is, we have to design the joint as bearing type connection. In that case, we have to choose between the minimum shear strength and the minimum bearing strength. So we will calculate design bearing strength of. The bolt that is V D P B that will be equal to two point five multiplied by K B multiplied by D by multiplied by T into F U or gamma M B. We have the minimum pitch because the value of K B depends on the end distance. the pitch distance and as well as the edge distance so we will have to assume pitch and the minimum pitch as per is 800 2007 is 2.5d that will be equal to 2.5 where d is the nominal diameter of the bolt and we have assumed the nominal diameter is 20 so you will get 50 mm as the minimum pitch so let us provide pitch p of 60 mm and when you can use uh, 50 mm as pitch as well so let us provide 60 mm as the pitch and and distance or edge distance we take both as 1.7 dh or 1.5 dh let us take 1.5 uh, 7 dh And that is for hand flame cut edges. So we will get. But we have DH as uh, bolt hole size. That is, it's actually diameter of the bolt. That is twenty plus clearance, and we have uh, clearance from table nineteen of the code. And it is two mm for twenty mm diameter bolts. So we have D H equal to twenty two mm. You you may get this clearance for twenty mm diameter bolt is from table nineteen of IS eight hundred.
so we will get uh, this e equal to 1.7 multiplied by dh dh is 22 that will be equal to 37.4 millimeter let's take it as 40 mm let's that is we have taken edge distance or end distance equal to 40 mm so we will get value of kp as least of e over 3dh p over 3dh minus 0.25 fub by fu and 1 so we have to take the least value from these values that is we will have e is 40 mm by 3 multiplied by 22 that's dh and value of p is 60 by 3 dh minus 0 0.25 and fub is 800 that's ultimate tensile strength of the bolt we have assumed 8.8 .8 great bolts uh, and we have fu equal to 410 and we have 1 so you have 0 0.606, 0 0.659, 1.95 and 1. Because we have to choose the least value from these values in order to get the value of Kb. Therefore, value of Kb is 0. Point, the least among these, it is 0 0.606, approximately equal to 0 0.61. So, VDPB that is design bearing strength of the bolt is equal to 2.5 into KB. KB is 0 0.61 multiplied by D. We have 20 and multiplied by T that is the thickness of the thinner plate. But we have uh, the angle section, uh, the thickness of the angle section is 12 mm and the thickness of the cassette plate is 12 mm so we will take it as 12 mm multiplied by fu this 410 by gamma mb that is actually 1.25 so <coughs> you will get vdpb equal to 1200048 newton that is 120.048 kN. So the bearing uh, strength of the bolt is 120 kN and the shear strength of the bolt is 90.53 kN. So the strength Now the bolt is a minimum of shear strength and bearing strength. So in order to calculate the strength of the bolt, we have to take uh, the minimum value from these two values. That is we have to take a minimum of 90, that is shear strength 90.53 kN and uh, 120.048 kilonewton therefore uh, uh, the strength of the bolt that is bolt value that is least of the two is 90.53 kilonewton that is the strength of the joint is governed by shear because uh, the value of the shear strength is 90.53 whereas that for the bearing strength is 120 kN. So there is every chance that uh, the joint may fail in shear because the shear strength of the bolts is lower than the bearing strength. Therefore, number of bolts required 
for the connection. In the case of uh, bearing type connection, rather that is equal to load on the joint or on the connection divided by uh, strength of the bolt that is bolt value this is 90.53 so you will get 3.31 let's take 4 bolts therefore provide 420 mm with diameter high strength friction grip bolts of grade 8.8 so let us show the tailing of the joint we have the gasket palette And we have the angle section that is ISA 150 by 115 by 12 mm. This is the thickness of the outstanding leg and this is actually the angle section that is 150 over 115 by 12 mm. That is in, actually it is an unequal angle section and it is connected to the guest plate. This is the guest plate. Actually, a gasset plate is a thick sheet of steel or of timber in case of timber structures and in case of steel structures, it is actually a thick sheet of steel used for joining structural steel members meeting at a point such that uh, the axes of the members pass through a single point so that eccentricity is avoided. As you can see, if we have different members meeting at a point and let us say we have connected these members uh, by way of a guest palette so if we have the members like this we have another member so actually all the members are meeting at a point so but we cannot accommodate all the members at a single point mm. so we actually provide a palette so that uh, the members meeting at a point can be accommodated on a mm, member or on a palette so that the axis of the members actually pass through a single point or through the same point so that the eccentricity is avoided and there is no deformation provided or uh, provided in the joint due to or due to this eccentricity in the axes so this is actually the guest palette and these are the different members which are framing into the joint and we may have different loads on these members 
so this gastric valid actually joins these or rather connects these different members meeting at a point so we have actually designed uh, this joint and we have determined the number of bolts in the in case b that is uh, in the case of bearing type connection so the number of bolts comes comes out to be four so we have to provide four number of bolts and uh, this end distance we have taken as 40 mm and the pitch we have taken as 60 mm so this is the detailing of the angle section with the gusset plate so we have actually one two three that is we have three spacing is at the rate of 60 mm which is actually the pitch of the bolts and in this case only also we have the end distance that is 40 mm and it's actually the detailing of the joint so this was all in today's lecture thank you let us uh, meet in the next lecture in which uh, lecture we will actually uh, start with tension numbers thank you